Hello everyone, welcome to Cross Cultural, I'm Rebecca and for today's video we're going to be reacting to another one of those um, videos where, oh what's his name, Sunny, um, looks at all the street foods and foods in India that India has to offer so I'm really excited, I love these videos, they're so fun and so so nice to watch. Um, so this one is called Record Breaking Thali in Pune, India. Wow, record breaking, that sounds insane. I am i don't really know what tale is, <laughs> but I guess I'm gonna find out. Um, the other videos that we've seen with Sonny and um, the foods that he's shown, the foods just look incredible in India. So, I mean, it's lunchtime here in the UK that I'm filming this. I should have probably eaten food before I watched this video, but it's just gonna make me even more hungry after I finish watching this video. So let's watch it together. <laughs> Oh, different prata. Yeah. Are these all going on the platter? Yes, because... Oh, holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> The best ever India road trip sprang into action, kicking off from Mumbai, then heading to Pune, where we found India's most unexpected oh. menu. <laughs> you can go in the emu cage, but don't get close to them. Today, we're in Pune. Some call it the Oxford of the East, with the most universities of any city. It's a mix of a lot of cultural, modern, IT, student <laughs> life. So Pune has been the hub for education for a very long time. Pune uh -oh. does it fit. And today we're after the holy grail of hugeness, Auji Kauji's mind-melting tali platter, piled high with over 50 Ooh. items. Each ingredient consists of at least 10 to 15 things in it. Oh my wow. God. But I'm not taking this on alone. Sartok from the channel Chow Down My Lane will be by my side. You know all the coolest places. I'm so happy I'm with you. From play pot concoctions loaded with mysterious ingredients. Do, do you eat that part? To Pune's finest street food. <laughs> Even though it hurts your hands, you have to have it super hot. So prepare to chow down with two of the most huggable dudes in the food show bits. <laughs> Today we're taking on Pune's biggest eat. It's so yummy. My belly's rumbling. <laughs> Time for breakfast. Forget your waffles and your Captain Crunch. This is Jaskas Misal, serving this classic Maharashtrian breakfast for the last five years. I'm in the kitchen with my dude Akshay. Sir, Hi. thank you so much for inviting us back here. We're here because you have this really unique food, something I've never seen before. Basically, we are uh, into snacks. Food. Misal is hard to define since its recipe can change in every region. I do know that it's served hot. It looks really <laughs> spicy. Is that yeah. spicy? No, it's not. It looks like spicy because it's masala. Uh, it does look spicy. Yeah. Yeah. What is yeah. making it red? It's red chili. Okay. It's, we use it as red chili. When people so get spicy. the dish, it has <laughs> the charcoal inside. Yeah, yeah. Do, do you eat that part? No, the charcoal is removed it out. Okay, I thought it was missile. Like a... <laughs> This smoked misal will be made by his father, the creator of the recipe, starting with a clay pot layered first with mashed potato, crispy gram flour sev, diced onion, mint, coriander, and then a small vessel containing ghee or clarified butter. This is where the magic occurs. Grabbing the charcoal, blow it off a little bit. Oh, look at that. All that oh, smokiness is going to affect cool. the flavor inside. I cannot wait to try this out. Oh, look at that, they're still smoking. Wow. He takes out what wow. he's that mini clay pot, and then he's gonna put in, well, he was calling it gravy earlier. Gravy. So first, mm. not hot at all. We need to mix it up. So we have the onion, potato base, that kind of puff rice, which is gonna be soaking up all these juices here. This is how it should become. Try it out. It looks so good. Whoa, that is delicious <laughs> yeah. and it's very spicy and that's why you serve this with the special bread called the pao and have this mixed up so that that spicy level goes down uh -huh. Try that. Yeah. clever mm. you're right so that food is our the spicy part of it sky knows is this yogurt yes is this for the end some people have it in the end and some people find it very spicy they mix it in i'm gonna try it out too Suits the spicy part of it. So many great combinations just in this yes. one simple plate. This is my favorite dish in Pune. Is everyone doing the smoke though? No, no. You'll find a lot That's of That's so cool products. that they do the, the smoke thing. The itself changes probably every 10 to 15 kilometers. The basic essence also changes at times. But the core remains the same. Man, this is a great start, but we're just getting started. There are a lot of things to get to come. <laughs> Guys, check out this giant. 
giant veg tolly. That's we'll huge. Get that too. But first, street food. <laughs> There's nothing better than a quick, affordable bite. And Sabu Donavada is one of the best in Pune. This stall started 20 years ago. Each morning, mom makes the batter and dad fries it and sells it. Over the years, their fried creation has helped put their kids through college. So what time did you start this? 5.30. 5.30. My wife wow. make this. Oh. And your wife now is sleeping. Yes? <laughs> <laughs> so now she's gone back home and cooking for the family. Oh my gosh. Wow. I, by the way, I didn't mean she's lazy. I mean, she's got to be tired. It's so much work. Sabu Donavana. Make bowls from the soak sago mixture and then fry them up. Mm. Serve with green mint coriander chutney and coconut chutney. It's so creative, the street food you have. It's so good. Cheers. 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 Even though it, it hurts your hands, you have to have it super hot. Yeah. That makes a big difference. My gosh, look at that. Look inside there. This great <laughs> texture. And then with the chutney. Amazing yeah, flavor. Nice tornado. Fresh, slightly sweet coconut Green chutney. Hot. Thank you. Appreciate it. So good. We have reached our final destination now. How do you say the name of this restaurant? This place is called Auji Kauji. Auji means come and eat and go out happy. And the reason we are here is for the biggest veg tolly in the world. Is that right? Uh, <laughs> you know, it's you know, huge. You ate about 15%. <laughs> you ate like this much of one. And I had six more friends. Ah, who came over and we could finish that tally. Friends, Oops. tell me more about this friend thing. These <laughs> are people who just hang out with you voluntarily because they like you. Kauji Kauji's wow. Big Boss Platter. It costs around $60, but considering it could feed a whole group of, um, Friends, I think he called it, seems like a great deal to me. Algae Couch owner and Big Boss creator Rajveer swung by to answer my burning questions. How many people does this feed? 10 people? At least. That's pretty good. I think it's wow. perfect because there's so many options. You yeah. don't want to have to choose one thing. Because I'm like that too. I don't want to have just one kind um, of meal. I want to share and try different things. And here you have the Big Boss with how many items on it? At least 32. That's pretty good. <laughs> the Big Boss Tali is served with 12 uniquely flavored paratha breads, each made fresh to order. Vegetarian ingredients stuffed inside of dough, flattened, then fried on the flat top. Each bowl contains a different signature blend of yum. I can't believe you have 12. He has 12 on here. 12 unique different flavors. 12 unique flavors. And each ingredient of each paratha consists of at least 10 to 15 things in it. Oh my god. Can I ask you a quick question? Please don't be shy about this. No, no. Where do I get boots with like a gold toe? <laughs> Can you show this? Can you show this? Oh, that's a good tip. I'm a big fan of boots, so I got it from Dubai. Oh, you're like a boot collector? Yeah. <laughs> Assembly of the tali is a crucial step. It starts with a 36 inch platter. First, building the outside edges, lining it with over a dozen. And sub -G's. Vegetable gravies or curries. Okay, all those sub -G's are ready. 16 different ones. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> then sweet dishes. Seven of them. Plus yogurt and white butter. And that's just the outside. Oh my lord. So all the pratas that we're cooking up wow. are going on the platter now. This is my kind of art right here. Oh my gosh, that <laughs> looks so like yummy. Amazing. Three types of rice are coming. This is veg pulao. This is zira rice. Masala rice. Wow, look at that. Just grating a ton of cheese. Is that Mas the whole yeah. stick? No, no, no. No, okay. Just like half. <laughs> some salad, yeah, vegetable. Some salad and papad. A lot of people are gonna be in the comments like, yeah, Matt Stoney, call Matt Stoney, he'll eat it. No, he won't, maybe. I don't know, he can come to India and try it out. One thing I learned last time when I had another big tali in Mumbai is do not ever try to do an eating challenge with Indian food. Indian food is some of the most like filling, heavy food I've ever tried. Very delicious, but this is all healthy because it's vegetarian, mm. right? Yeah. We gotta jump into this. Here's paratha number one. So I'm gonna try just a little paratha alone. Uh -huh. Mmm, Indian prata. This is all Indian. This is funny is butter masala. You did it like that? Yes. I love the colors that they have as well. Of Indian spiciness, essentially the cheese that's used in so many dishes here in India. Cauliflower. Uh -huh. Ooh, like the colors of the food just oh, look man, so enticing. Right way to make cauliflower. Spicy, thick, 
tomato with gravy. Wow, one of the standard thing is it's the making me so hungry. very North Indian Punjabi flavor. So that with the rice, mm. that tastes very good. Oh, I really want some rice now. Everyone, it's very good. I mean, it's a uh, familiar flavors of beans and rice, but just with so many Indian spices and a ton of cumin in there. Everybody is wondering what this is. This is burrito. Oh, yeah, everyone's stopped what caring. Everyone's <laughs> wondering what this is. Paneer again. It's so smoky. I love that. That's one of my favorites ever. Everyone is wondering what is going on here. It's green. Why? Let's try it out. Yeah. Is it spinach? Mm. Uh -huh. it's spinach. But he needs a friend. Look at that. Chole it's on the spinach, spinach parada. parada. We're so doing a bale bale. Oh my God, it's a very popular Punjabi move called the bale bale. Bale bale. Bale bale. bale, bale. You say something, you just say. The moment you, no, no, that's what they do. I swear, for the remainder of this trip, <laughs> any food that is a nine uh, out of ten or higher, bale bale. Bale bale. Bale bale. <laughs> bale, bale. bale, bale. bale, bale. Something that's really below five. Yeah. So, so we do this. We're gonna jump ahead <laughs> seven times for dessert. I have not tried this. It's like oh, a wow. gulab jamun. In a rubbery. In a rubbery. Let's try it out. Oh, it's like silky, creamy, mm -hmm. just sweet enough. And then that nice bready gulab jamun. Now this is a bread-based dessert. The normal bread that we use every day. With rubbery? Yes. Mm -hmm. Alright, cheers. Oh, game over. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna try a little bit more and then share it with all of our friends and the people behind the camera who, you know, they work so hard. Yeah. Yes, right. they do. <laughs> Man, first of all, I want to give you a nice dirty handshake. Thank you so much <laughs> for showing you. me around your hood. It's really been a pleasure. This is a small city and people normally don't come here. It is full of uh, culinary delight that mm. you can have. And I hope you enjoy it. We had such a good time. So many cool things, unique food, and just, you know, I mean, what the heck, look at this. Next time on the Incredible. Best Ever India Road Trip, we say goodbye to Pune and head south to Goa, where we find the most unique ingredients I'd never expect to see Whoa. in India. It's not red blood, so the taste is different. It's more like meat. More beefy, right? <laughs> Check out Whoa. his channel. Shout out my lane on YouTube and every other social media. He is doing food reviews in India, but also he's going global now. Just go to Dubai and many more fun videos to come. All right, who wants to eat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> oh my goodness me. <sighs> Are you hungry after watching that? I mean, I was hungry before I started watching this video. I'm starving now. <laughs> Let me know if you're hungry in the comments below. Oh, there's just so much. That huge tali plate is incredible. And $60 to feed at least 10 people. So if you split that by 10 people, that's like $6 each, which is that's not even like a pizza well depending on where you go <laughs> but that's incredible that is for the amount of food you get is such a good price um that's wow i would love to try that like i said there were so many like colorful items on the plate which just make it look so enticing all the reds all the oranges the green like bread thing looked incredible which was spinach i love spinach i feel so healthy when i eat spinach <laughs> um but yeah just looks so yummy and all the rice there was three different types of rice i think they said oh i love rice i might have to cook some rice for lunch <laughs> but before that obviously we had a couple of other things that they were looking into so they had the nice like fried he sonny described it as like a um hash brown which i don't know if you have it in india but it's kind of like potato and onion um kind of like mushed together and fried um so if it tastes like that it must taste pretty good but i mean it looks nicer than a hash brown i'm not gonna lie <laughs> and like the texture that i had it was all kind of like bubbly which was kind of cool to see and then we also had the um what was the first thing we saw oh yeah the 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 um pot thing that had smoke coming out of it crazy that's that was pretty crazy <laughs> if i was served an item that was literally like not on fire but was smoking i'd be so impressed i mean it, not let alone it looking really tasty and yummy and filling i would just be like wow this is magic here <laughs> but yeah that was kind of like a um a mixture of of different things which looked really nice i remember there, there was like a corn oh, i'm not sure what it's called but the kind of like thin 
lime orangey stuff which we saw in one of the previous um food videos that Sonny had done um I think it was when he was in Mumbai and doing the street food challenge and they use that in so many different meals over in Mumbai well I guess in India just in general they use it and um, so it was nice to see that in in this piece of food as well I just can't get over how hungry I am right now. I'm gonna have to go and make food. <laughs> I can't wait. One day I really hope I can come to India because as much as I can eat this food over here in the UK, you know what, it's just, it's not the same, is it? I need to go experience it in the true country and have Indian food in India. So one day I will be able to take it off my bucket list, um, which hopefully will be soon. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen in the near future but i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have please do give it a thumbs up if you are new please subscribe hit the notification bell so you know when i upload videos and yes yeah, share this video with friends and family and get them to subscribe because you know we're all stuck indoors might as well have some entertainment i hope you are enjoying these videos that i'm making i'm really enjoying making them for you stay home stay safe and i will see you soon for another video bye everyone